Good morning, everybody. Another day is here, another day of work, another day of trucking. I slept in the lineup to get loaded. The guy in front of me, or there was two guys in front of me when I got here. They loaded one of us last night yet. The, the other two of us had to sleep overnight here. Uh, they're loading the guy in front of me. Right over there. Should be pretty quick. And then I'll be able to move up into the loading area there. And uh, I'll quickly get loaded up, tie it down, and be on our way. This load I'm picking up is going to a town in Minnesota, south of Minneapolis. Uh, it's called Oronco. Oronco, Minnesota. Now, I'm thinking I'm going to be taking it straight through, straight there, and delivering it uh, to tomorrow. That's about a two day drive to get there. Maybe tomorrow afternoon, but most likely the following morning. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, and then going home from there and then getting Old Blue a service. But we'll see. They, they said that they might want to bring me to the yard and then put me on something else. And then someone else will take this down to Minnesota. So not for sure yet, but I'm thinking I'll probably be going down, going down there myself. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens once everybody wakes up. We'll see what happens once I wake up. <laughs> I still got to get myself woke up. We'll find a coffee. All oh, working out here in the snow. Got it all loaded up. We're ready to go. So I am just taking it to our yard. Someone else will continue with it from there. It's a full day drive from here. It's just under 1,200 kilometers. So hopefully we don't hit any delays or anything, but as long as you know, traffic's good, it should be good across the prairies. We gotta go from here through Saskatoon, through Regina, all the way to Winnipeg. I should be able to make it back late tonight in one day. And then uh, we'll fill up the rest of the week with something else. And then Old Blue is booked in for Monday for a complete service and a couple other little things that need to be looked at. But I'm just gonna catch my breath. Whew. I tied that down as quick as I could. <laughs> Let's get going. In 300 meters, turn left on Highway 55. That's a lot of wood. loaded up to max US weights because this load is going to the US. Makes sense. We've got a long day ahead of us. Oh the golden arches, right? Am I right? Am I right? Oh don't lie to me, you love them just as much as I do. I didn't actually buy any food. Here. I just got coffee. There's a Tim Hortons down the street, but today I said no, not today, Timmy's. Not today. Went to McDonald's. Just as good. So I'm still doing pretty good on my diet. Uh, I hate calling, I'm not going to call it a diet. It's not a diet. It's just a lifestyle. A different lifestyle changing how much I eat for the most part. Right now I'm trying to. Uh, stay at a calorie negative or a net negative for my calorie intakes that I'm losing weight and then as I get down to my goal weight I'll start adding food in slowly to find that balance of where I'm not eating too much that's the main problem that I had and that's the main problem that a lot of people have not everybody but a lot of people you're overweight because you eat too much you put too much food in you I'm not talking to you or maybe I am I don't know I don't that's, that's what my problem was. That's what someone told me. A good friend of mine told me that. He said, you know what, Josh? You're eating too much. Your body doesn't need all that. Just because you're hungry doesn't mean your body needs that food. So it was tough at first to cut back because I was so hungry for, for the first while. But then my stomach shrank. My body adjusted to having you know, the proper amount of food in me. And now I have more energy than I had before. More energy than when I was eating so much before. And I'm eating so much less. And the best part of that is I'm saving so much money 
because I buy less food. It's amazing. It's a win, 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 win in every direction. And I'm at my 200 pound maximum goal weight. So this is the weight I want to be at my max from now on. 200. I want to go down to below 180. I'm going to get down to 180 and get below there and see how I feel. According to doctors and what I've done on my research for a guy my height, I'm 5'10". I should be between 150 and 180 pounds. So I'm thinking 170 should be the right balance, but anything you know, around 180 I'd be happy with, but definitely below 200. I'm now down to 200. I started at 28 pounds, uh, 228. So I've lost 28 pounds in two and a half months. It hasn't been easy. It's been very hard actually. Uh, <laughs> taken a lot of mind and willpower but it's it's work and the main thing that did it was just eat less and by not eating so much during the day not constantly snacking I've actually cut my sugar intake way down I haven't cut it off completely and I still eat a good supper every day and when I go home on the weekends I eat like normal I just don't gorge myself I have breakfast and I have lunch and I have supper or I just have breakfast and supper. Sometimes I skip lunch anyway. I'm not usually hungry anymore for lunch because I have a good breakfast and I have a good supper. And my body's gotten used to less food, so I'm not I'm not as hungry as I was before. And that's a good thing because my body didn't need everything I was giving it. So that was a epiphany and revelation I had in the past uh, few months, and it's really changed my life. And, and I'm really happy and I'm. I went into McDonald's right now and I didn't even buy a Big Mac. I just got my coffee. That's my one thing. Like when I'm when I'm fasting, I still allow myself coffee with cream. Uh, so it's my one little uh, guilty pleasure, I guess. My one little cheat. I'm not going complete fasting, I guess, because there is cream in my coffee. But whatever, sue me. I'm happy and it's been working. That's the update on my health, on my body. I, I'm very excited about it. I'm excited to continue this. And the, the problem with losing weight isn't the losing weight, it's the keeping it off, maintaining it. So it's, it's, that's why I say, you can't say you're going on a diet, you're gonna lose some weight. No, you have to change your lifestyle. It has to be a permanent change. Otherwise, yeah, sure, you can lose the weight. But if you don't make it a permanent lifestyle change, it's just gonna come right back. I'm passing on knowledge to you that I have learned recently. I knew this stuff before, I've been told this stuff before, but it's really hit me hard in the last, and I've really been trying hard the last couple of months, and uh, you know, it's worked for me. So I don't know if it'll work for you. It might not, might not work for you the same way it worked for me, but hopefully it encourages you. Let's get rolling. We have a new plan. Uh, we're going to the, to the yard still today. That is still the plan for today. And uh, tomorrow morning, we're gonna transfer this load onto a step deck. And then we're gonna take this load down to Minnesota, deliver it ourselves. And then I go down to Burlington, Iowa to pick up a nice load of tires. And we're gonna bring those tires uh, back up here to our yard. So that'll fill up the rest of my week. I'll be back in our yard on Saturday. And then on Monday, Old Blue is going in for a service. So bing, bang, boom, everything is lining up. Everything's falling into place. It's a good day today. It'd be better if the sun was out and it would be better if I was on a boat out on the lake and the temperature was perfect. But it's snowing and, and I'm in Meadow meters, Lake. Turn left on 9th Avenue West and then turn right in 15 meters. But hey, Saskatchewan ain't all that bad. It's not that bad. And the snow isn't that bad either. It's the cold in January and February. That's what's bad. I don't mind the snow. Small town, Saskatchewan. Continue on this road for 65 kilometers. I was planning on doing just that. What do you know? Great minds think alike. This is Glassland, Saskatchewan. Last week we were in small town Quebec, now we're in small town Saskatchewan. What's interesting is that these towns are a lot newer than those towns, yet those towns look newer than these towns. <laughs> Take the 
entrance to the ride on Highway 6 South. It's also uh, home of the Saskatchewan Rough Riders football team, which is the arch nemesis of the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. I'm not a big football fan, but... Every now and then I'll watch a game, I guess, if it's on. So we're gonna go past the city here. We're gonna go to Balgoni, Baloney. Stop there for a coffee, stretch our legs. trucks sneak in behind me there yet just as I'm rolling backwards this time I wasn't rolling backwards yet but often like you're already moving back like I am right now and they'll sneak they'll just slip behind you there and you gotta slam on your brakes so you don't back into them and then they got the gall to honk at you like hey don't back into me bro well, what are you doing driving behind me while I'm backing up oh mr. Volvo's leaving okay Just me and this uh, T680 
here then. It's a nice T680 right here. Still got that Volvo over there. But yeah, I, I just don't understand it. Like this time wasn't that bad. There's quite a bit of space, but I still wouldn't risk it. I would never do that. And I think I hold myself to a higher standard than people hold themselves to, like other people. And so when they do the, oh, one second, we gotta pause. Look at that Peter. That's a fine looking Peter. So I was saying that I hold myself to a pretty high standard. Like I don't drive behind people when they're backing up. I, I do other things. Like I do things in a specific, certain way. Uh, and I believe that that's the correct way to do it. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you ever pass behind a truck that you see this backing up, like already in the process of backing into a spot? Are you one of those guys that sneaks in behind? I don't think you are. I don't think my audience would do that. You guys are all people filled with common sense. The people who do do that kind of thing, they don't watch me for very long because they, they watch my videos and then when they hear the common sense coming out of my mouth into their ears, it's like a vampire stepping into the sunlight. It's like, Sah! common sense! And they have to click off my video and they click the dislike button before they leave, you know? It's, oh, it hurt them. It hurt them hearing that common sense because they don't know anything about that. That's what I think. All you guys, you guys are all the good ones. If you guys can get through one of my videos, you're clearly, obviously, not a metaphorical vampire when you hear common sense. You see a lot of these guys out here that, uh, you know, they don't even, it's not that they don't have common sense, they don't have any sense. None. They fell off the wagon a long time ago and nobody stopped to go get them and they're just wandering around lost in the world all by themselves, not knowing what in the world's going on, but somehow someone gave them a commercial driver's license and here they are driving an 80,000 pound piece of hurdling steel down the highway with no idea what planet they're on. Okay, I need to get out of the truck. I need to go for a walk, clear my head. <laughs>
another tank again. So I'm gonna grab just enough fuel here at the Petro Pass in Brandon, Manitoba. Manitoba's got the cheapest juice, but not as cheap as North Dakota. So we're gonna get just enough today to get us down there. We'll fuel up totally in North Dakota tomorrow. Probably have a fill one tank, maybe. Maybe get about 200 liters. That should do. Well, we gotta wrap this vlog up. And also, good morning. So I got to our yard and I uh, slept here. It's morning already, though the sun doesn't think so. It's not here yet. I don't know. Sleeping in, I guess. Lazy. So we just put my load onto a step deck because I have a reload, like I was telling you earlier in Burlington, Iowa, that I'm picking up that I'm gonna need a step deck for. And that's that. So I'm gonna get this tied down and we're gonna bring this down to Minnesota tomorrow. Well, for me, it's gonna be today, but for you, it's gonna be tomorrow gonna wrap this up right here thanks for watching today everybody don't forget all the usual stuff that every other youtuber asks you for i'm exactly the same hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell if you want to become a member get early access to the videos click the join now button down below you can read more about it there leave me a comment down below thumbs up if you like the video don't lie to me or lie to me i don't care make me feel good thumbs up button We'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Drive safe out there and use your turn signals, please. And spread the word. Spread the word. Turn signals.